The outlooks are very much mixed across the Asia-Pacific region. For developed market banking systems, the rating outlook is more negative, even though new business and revenue generation prospects should be no worse than in 2020, hence our stable sector outlook. On the other hand, for emerging markets, Fitch's rating outlook is mainly stable, India being a notable exception, and this should be aided by stable to improving prospects for new business and revenue generation, particularly from loan growth. Nevertheless, we believe that banks will still report further deterioration in asset quality in 2021 as more government relief and loan deferral programs roll off. Timing won't be even, just like the economic recoveries, as various initiatives which until now have largely benefited bank financial profiles were staggered and will remain in effect for varying lengths of time. In general, government fiscal stimulus was larger in developed markets than emerging markets where instead, borrow relief measures will run deeper into the year. These measures will support bank earnings, but loan provisioning should stay elevated even while it eases in 2021. Factoring in the low interest rate environment and other operating costs such as investments in digital capabilities, then these challenges combined will see lower profitability in the next few years relative to longer term historical trends. Banks could offset that by meaningfully increasing their risk appetite as and when operating environments support faster growth. This was a more prevalent trend in the lead up to the pandemic, but is not our expectation for 2021. Similar to this year, brighter spots for banks should be stability in capital and liquidity. That said, there are exceptions, particularly in emerging markets like India, Vietnam and China, where capital pressures will be more prominent. About 40% of outlooks among Fitch-rated banks in APAC are negative. Since they reflect different factors, that is, either intrinsic credit profiles or the outlooks of support providers, prospects vary for resolving the negative outlooks, which could either be via downgrades or revising them to stable. That said, where IDRs are driven by their viability ratings, we see the next action as more likely to be stabilizing the ratings rather than downgrading them providing our forward-looking assessments of bank credit profiles remain broadly in line with our baseline scenarios or a lesser likelihood that downside scenarios or rating sensitivities will be triggered. As for timing, we believe it's more likely to be throughout 2021, starting from around the second quarter.